Okay, so in this video then, what I'm going to be doing is testing the Flip 4 with the Rode Video Mic Me C. So as we should be able to see from this phone here, which is being operated by my good friend Threlly, we should be able to see exactly what's going on. Now what I've done here though, just to like get things a little bit more orderly, shall we say, I've got the phone on a tripod and then on top of that, I've took the stabilizer off. What it is, taking the stabilizer off when you're on a tripod is a good thing because stabilizers, no matter where whether they are electronic or not, they should be switched off when you've actually got a tripod and whatnot, especially if it's electronic, because it'll kind of like, it'll take a lot, a lot of that weirdness out of the picture. You can get artifacts off stabilizers if you're not careful, but when you're on a tripod, you don't need them. And plus also, it, this will allow me to concentrate a little bit more on what I'm doing. I will do a little bit of a handheld thing as I kind of like, you know, do some stuff further into this video. But right now, this is to give us a very clear idea as to what's going on and how this microphone sounds with the phone now also I am like one arm's length away from the phone here so that's like the kind of typical distance I would try and be or the furthest distance actually away from any microphone on any kind of like you know recording or vlogging device so right now we are on the wide lens now if you just give us a moment so right now I have flipped over to the ultra wide now the thing is because the stabilizer is off and the wide looked really nice and wide the ultra wide is just going to look ridiculous so once again, there I am, full arm's length away, but this ultra wide view now without the stabilizer on is just crackers. Anyway, this is going to give us a good idea as to like, you know, what it looks like and whatnot as far as the phone is concerned. But obviously this video is really to do with the video mic me see. Now, just a couple of quick things here. I've got the dead cat on it, which is like, like totally necessary because it is slightly breezy where we are here at the moment. Also, and as I've already mentioned in a previous video, this microphone records like from its front. So what I'm going to do in a sec is just walk around and we will hear that my voice should kind of drop off and stuff, which shows us that this microphone is designed to be used to pick up sound from its front. So what I'm going to do is try and keep a constant distance here. So there's my full arm's length away and I'm to one side there. I should have dropped off a little bit. Now... I'm right behind the microphone, again, same kind of full arm's length distance from the phone itself. I should still like be dropped off and whatnot. Then if I come round to the other side, full arm's length away there as well, I should still be dropped off. And then if I get right back round to the front there, I should be back the loudest that it should be with this microphone because it is designed to pick up sound from its front. Now give us one second and let me just flip over to some handheld stuff. Okay, so I've now switched over to handheld and obviously I've put the stabilizer back on as well. Now what I'm gonna do is just walk around a little bit here. So this is the wide angle lens, which for me is the best lens on the camera. So a little bit of talking here. And and although this is obviously a video designed to give us an idea of what the video mic me see is like with this combination with the flip four obviously i need to kind of do as much with the video side of stuff as i can when i do these things so this is definitely going to give us an idea of exactly what's going on with the wide lens and don't forget as well this is really bright today in fact if I look up there and there's Gaz over there with the iPhone, <laughs> if we look up there and there's the sun, we can see how bright it is. Now, again, this is all fully automatic. I've mentioned before, there's no point in trying to go manual when you're vlogging because you'll be chasing that exposure too often. So you might as well just do, put it in auto and put up with what it's going to give you. So right now, this is what it's going to give us. So obviously, this is wide uh, with the external microphone and stuff. This gives you a very good idea of it all in auto so give me one second and this is now crazy ultra wide so this should be a tremendous field of view in fact hold on Gaz what's that field of view like there mate that is ridiculously wide that's ridiculously wide so we should write to Samsung and say we you need to like relabel what this is this is the ridiculously wide camera is that what that is 
okay <laughs> right so anyway this is the ultra wide lens here and this is going to give us a really good idea of what this is going to be doing in this type of environment with the light now for me personally it's useful the ultra wide it's got a fantastic field of view and stuff but i just don't think it's as good a picture quality as what the main wide is however with a ton of light like this this is going to give us like you know the best representation as far as like say noise and stuff is concerned with the ultra wide so this will give us a very good idea of what the ultra wide will look like in fully auto uh, when it's dead sunny and stuff and most importantly how does the mic sound mic's not going to change sound hopefully as i flip between the cameras because if it did there'd be something wrong with that anyway last thing for this now okay so for the last thing then i have now flipped over to the front camera and obviously the front camera is what a lot of people want to be using because then they've got the screen there but as i will have mentioned in other videos me personally i'm like very used to using gopros and like you know that was before the gopros had any kind of front screen on them and stuff like that so for me personally i actually find these front screens something that's actually quite a distraction and stuff but like i say other people that's what they want to use so that's why i'm giving you the example of it right now now obviously i'm deliberately turning in and out of this light and stuff this is going to be blowing things out probably or putting things into like complete shadow and stuff like that depending upon how the cameras are responding to the auto exposure for such a bright light but once again with me testing the three cameras and doing all this kind of mad stuff here it's definitely going to give you a really good idea as to how all these things are going to respond doing this type of stuff anyways okay so i think that's probably going to wind it up for this video anyways and don't forget what i've been doing here is to give you an example of how these things truly respond in a fully automatic setup and anyway let me know in the comments what you've thought of this and whether or not you really like this microphone or not anywho i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now